Okay, we're talking about how to hit crisp iron shots at the flag and catching it on the middle of the club face. Now, as you guys know, the way it works is that in order to hit the ball solid, consistently solid, you need to compress the club into the ground and squeeze that ball into the ground and then the ball rolls on up the club face and then takes off. So we need, we call this the leading edge, we need to get the leading edge down into the turf and squeeze this into the ground, then it'll run up this club face and takes off. What we find most in golfers is that they try to help the ball up into the air by using their body and tilting your body back. So what we want to do is focus in on getting the leading edge to stay low, low instead of the leading edge coming up off the ground. So if you can see the golf ball is here on the ground, here's the leading edge and it's starting to come up off the ground that it catches the top of the ball, the middle of the ball, then we top it, we blade it, we dribble it out there, which is most common. The reason why is because you're trying to help the ball into the air yourself instead of letting the club do the work. So if you're not hitting it solid, if you're not compressing the ball into the ground, what's happening is your body is tilting back, trying to help it, and then the club obviously starts to come up off the ground. So what we need you guys to do is to focus in on getting this and stay low by getting your body more on top so you can see how I'm starting to get my weight to the left and that allows the club to stay low and compress it into the ground. It's hard to trust the club doing the work but what's happened is you're not using your lower body to move to the left, you're tilting back like this. When you move to the left, you maintain your spine through the golf swing. If you're tilting back, I'm starting in this position and then I'm finishing in this position. So you can see that my spine has changed positions and now I'm in big trouble. So if you guys are, are struggling with, with contact, with consistent ball contact, the reason why is because there's a lack of lower body movement to the left. So we got to get you to soften up your arms. We have our little schematic here about swinging down the line here and I'm going to move a little bit to the left. So when I go ahead and finish, I'm fully balanced on my left. When you guys hit a golf shot, if you hit it poorly, just hold your finish. Most of the time you'll be like this. When you stay flat footed, your body actually tilts back. And when your body tilts back, the club starts to come up off the ground. This is very hard to do. Now we call this, when you finish your golf swing, we'll call this a golf swing. That means the ball just got in the way of the swing. If you're staying flat footed, you're trying to hit the ball, you're trying to help the ball, scoop the ball, guide the ball, all this stuff that we don't want you to do. So it all comes with the lower body moving over here. You know, our analogy is, let's say that the pitcher and the golfer are the same, same person. Let's say the pitcher is on the, on the rubber, can you see this? Pitcher's on the rubber and I'm the golfer. So the golfer is going to turn, now I'm the pitcher like this, what's the first thing the pitcher does? He pushes off and throws it. That's where he gets his accuracy and his power. But what happens to the golfer when they stay flat footed is they do this and they do this. So as you can see, I'm not going to strike anybody out. There's no power and probably going to be pretty wild because of the movement of my lower body. We got to push off of the rubber and move on over here and everything's going forward. All that power is going to be driving into the ball and it's going to be effortless power. If we can get your body moving, you're going to compress the ball on the ground, you'll square the club face up, you'll be on balance and you'll hit it, hit it far. So we hope this helps you.